Hi Jen. Right, uh, it's Tuesday, it's about quarter past eight, so I've been here, you know, a little over three full days, because I came on Saturday afternoon. Um, my room's pretty much sorted, I mean, I need a bookcase. I talked to a very nice lady in a shop today, she said there's some bookcases, very, very cheap, coming in next week, so hoping to get one of them so that would be great and then I can hopefully get completely finished um, something great happened straight after I moved in uh, on the Saturday night before I went to bed Rachel pointed out that um, one of the pupa you know the pupa got loads of them loads of them a tank full all stuck on to bits of pencil um, one of the small white pupa, uh, you could see the wing pattern through the side of the pupa. So we blue tacked it up on the side of the wardrobe and the next day it hatched out. So that's great and uh, there should just be a little bit of footage because I took a little bit of film of the butterfly. So I'll show you that. So just after I took a little bit of film of the butterfly, it I opened the window and it flew away. So that was fine. Um, I thought it would have been September. It might be a little bit late for them to be flying about. You don't want to get cold and all die. So I felt a little bit bad. But then I checked my book. And it says you can find them up until mid-October in reasonable numbers. Then you'll get occasional ones up until, you know, November. So that was fine with me then. Um, not the only interesting piece of butterfly and moth related news. Uh, last night, um, me and Rachel went to the Tesco's about midnight, and outside the shop there's all these lamps illuminating the path. And outside, I always look to see what moths there are. I've seen um, yellow underwings and lesser broader bordered yellow underwings and clouded border and angle shade loads of angle shades at the moment because it's that time of year but there's this one really big one and um rachel this was wonderful and said she'd go in and into tesco and buy a little container to put it in like a little tupperware box while i kept an eye on it so i was looking at it and i was like what's this moth and with the size of it which was you know quite big um, I thought that it would be some kind of hawk moth because of the size. Um, I thought perhaps a pine hawk moth. I mean, I'd seen one of those earlier this year for the first time. It was quite, you know, a drab grey colour. I mean, this one was quite grey. Anyway, so Rachel came back, um, put it on my shoulders because it was quite hard at the wall. She got it in the box, lid on, you know, fantastic. Uh, as it was fluttering, we saw all these colours, and I was like, what's this then? Obviously not a pine hawk moth, because they don't go in for colours, really. More grey is their kind of thing. Um, so under the street light, we noticed that it went underneath the wing. There was colour. So it was an orange light. So when I looked at the colour, I thought it was kind of orangey colour itself. So I was thinking it was a copper underwing. But we got inside the shop and it turned out that it was red. So I was like, wow, that's unusual. I've never seen one of those before. I've seen pictures of red underwings before because you get um, crimson underwing, dark crimson underwing, um, loads with red underwings. But as far as I knew, they were all confined to the south of England. So I was surprised. So we looked up and came back. And most of them are really rare, apart from red underwing, that's the commonest one. And uh, that one, still, you find it most commonly in the southern half of England, but it does move as far north as Yorkshire. But, I mean, I'm in North Yorkshire, so I thought that was a bit unusual. So, anyway, great, though. I've got a picture of it, so I'll see if I can put that in the video. So I'll just see if I can do that.
so you can see from the picture the size of it it's almost as you know long as some of my fingers so gosh and it turns out that it's not hot moth but it's actually the largest of the noctuidae moths or noctuid moths in england so quite a wonderful thing to see and i hadn't even expected it so that was great so that 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 made my day yesterday and and today in fact so that's wonderful so a couple more things before i go um i think you're coming down the weekend i'm not sure we talked about that but rachel says if you are coming down she's got something really great to show you but i'm not allowed to tell you what so that's a surprise and um oh something you'll find interesting is well i'll just show you the film and you can judge for yourself so see you later bye camper van camper van and a cat and a cat and a camper van isn't that cool you're fighting it away i was joking that